Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. I'm Demolition Turtle, and I'm bringing you gameplay commentary today. Um, oh yeah, just that bit there. That's just because I got a bit annoyed because I stole my warthog. Um, it didn't blow up, don't worry. I didn't mean for it to. But anyway, yeah, this is a gameplay commentary on my first impressions of Halo 4. I've had the game since Tuesday when it came out. I've had it for about five days. I've uh, been playing it quite a bit, and I'm just going to tell you what I kind of think about it and stuff. Um, so... I'm really enjoying it at the moment, it's a really nice game. Um, I'll start with the campaign, I've just been doing it, I've done I think five missions. Um, and I'm really enjoying it at the moment, it's a really good campaign. Um, I It is a bit short, because it is only like eight missions long. But I am enjoying it so far, <coughs> and that's quite good. Um, uh, the war games, the multiplayer, um, is pretty fun, I have to admit, I quite enjoy it. Um, the loadouts, I think it's quite cool how you can personalise it, but maybe there's a bit too much customization, um, because, like, it doesn't really feel that much like Halo when you can customise, like, perks and abilities and stuff. Um, but it's still good that you can, like, customise the character and stuff, I like that. Um, and the ordnance, rather than actual weapon drops, I don't really like, I'd rather keep it with the original drops, but... Getting ordnance for, like, getting, um, enough kills, I reckon that's quite cool, and it just rewards people who are doing quite well. Um, and I don't like the new scoring system of Infinity Slayer, where you get, like, ten points a kill. I just don't like that. I wish they'd just left it at one point a kill, and didn't count medals towards points. Although, actually, the medals towards point thing is quite cool, but I just don't like it being worth ten points a kill. Um, and I'm annoyed at the fact that there's no race in Halo 4, because, for those of you that know me, you know that my favourite game type ever is race, and there isn't a race, so we had to. Master Hippie made a custom race game type called Race Tracks, and he had to make it out of King of the Hill, which doesn't really work that well because obviously um, you only get like a point for going around a lap, and you can't. You have to like bring up the scoreboard, and it's the amount of time you spent in the hill is your points, and it's just a bit confusing, and I don't really like it. I wish they'd brought back race. I don't see why they got rid of it, it's just silly, and I hope they add it in a title update. I really hope they do. Um, but Forge, I like the Forge. It's quite cool. I do, I, do, I like the way they got three maps which gives you different settings. Um, I do quite like that, rather than just having it on like everything on Forge World from Halo Reach and having everything in the same colours and stuff. I like the way you got like Impact in Space and Ravine, which is like green and stuff like that. I like the different um, things. Magnets are quite cool. I haven't really used them much, but I'm guessing for newer forges, they'll be really useful to help keep things aligned and stuff. So you won't have to have Slayer maps where you have to like jump between different buildings because they haven't aligned them properly and stuff. So I reckon that'll help keep the maps a bit more, um, like, you know, it'll just help keep them a bit better. Um, and the gravity zones are awesome. I made well, my first racetrack, Asteroid Flight, was basically just a load of gravity zone jumps, and they are really cool to use. Uh, my second race track, Trollover, uses them as well, and they're really cool, um, especially in like mongooses. I love them; they're just a really great idea. Um, and yeah, oh, yeah, here I get a nice triple kill. I think I'm going to get the overkill, but I just can't manage it, and I just have to end up flying away, just because I didn't want to get blown up. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I s actually said this, but this is a Running Riot gameplay with the Banshee. Which, it's my first Running Riot in Halo 4, which I think is quite cool. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, I got it yesterday in matchmaking when I was playing with my friend. It's in King of the Hill on Ragnarok. And it, it's a Running Riot, it's a really nice gameplay, and I hope you enjoy it. But yeah, um, the gravity zones are awesome. But I am annoyed at the fact that there's no precision forging. Like, in Reach, you could hold down the left stick you could move an object like a tiny bit that helps so much in keeping things smooth that was literally for basically every piece, piece I put down I used that but in Halo 4 you have to just do it it's really awkward and clunky because it isn't one of them you have to like lower it down and press A really quickly if you want to move it a tiny bit which is just really really annoying I really hope they add it in a title update it will make Forge so much better but the gravity zones and magnets are quite cool and also um, like delete Deleting objects by pallet sounds quite cool, um, and also I do quite like the idea of um, being able to lock objects. I haven't used it yet, but it does sound like a really good idea. And duplicating objects is just kind of useful. I haven't really used that bit either. 
Um, but yeah, the theatre mode, um, which is really useful for me for making videos. It's, yeah, it's good, it's just normal theatre mode. But you can't, like, it's really annoying that you can't do, I think you can't do campaign or Spartan Ops theatre. Um, which is really annoying. Um, well, because if you, like, normally I don't want to record the campaign, but if I wanted to do a Let's Play of it or something, I'd like to be able to go and re um, record the clips from theatre. And if I get a nice, um, like, couple of snipes or a nice clip in theatre, I'd like to be able to go and record it. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's what I think of Halo 4. Tell me what you think below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.